preface. I felt like I was trapped in one of those terrifying nightmares. The one where you have to run, run till your lungs burst, but you can't make your body move fast enough. My legs seemed to move slower and slower as I fought my way through the callous crowd, but the hands on the huge clock tower didn't slow. With relentless, uncaring force, they turned inexcrutably towards the end. The end of everything. But this was no dream. And unlike the nightmare, I wasn't running for my life. I was racing to save something infinitely more precious. My own life meant very little to me today. Alice had said there was a good chance we'd both die here. Perhaps the outcome would be different if she weren't trapped by the brilliant sunlight. Only I was free to run across this bright, crowded square. And I couldn't run fast enough. So it didn't matter to me that we were surrounded by our extraordinarily dangerous enemies. As the clock began to toll out the hour, vibrating under the soles of my sluggish feet, I knew I was too late. I was glad something bloodthirsty waited in the wings, for in failing at this, I forfeited any desire to live. The clock tolled again, and the sun beat down from the exact center point of the sky.